Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. So I want to continue further. Yesterday, we discussed about what is data, what is data analytics, what is data engineering, what is data science, clear? What is a uh, Excel data? What is SQL data? What is data warehousing data? What is Hadoop or big data? And all these things we have discussed. And also, I was talking about as a data analytics course, what are the things that you need to learn? That is also have clearly spoken in yesterday's class. And today, let us you know clearly uh, go to the uh, demo part two. So people who missed yesterday's part, make sure that you watch the demo. So the demo is available in my YouTube channel. You can simply go to youtube.com and say Bhaskar Jogi Power BI videos. You will be able to find out this. So this is Power BI demo part one, August 1st. So all the demos are available. You can just watch them. All the success stories also have just included. You can watch, you can subscribe the channel and you can forward this link to your friends as well if they wanted to join in this course. I'm uh, having uh, Power BI and as well as I'm also conducting data engineering. If you wanted to get into data engineering, so even I have a lot of data engineering videos uploaded. If you wanted to know what is data engineering in depth, you will be able to watch these videos as well. And uh, so I have given data engineering classes by me. So this is the latest video of mine. Uh, you can just watch what is the data engineering, what all we need to learn as part of data engineering. Everything is included in my channel. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you will be able to see a lot of people's success stories, right? BCom guys, MBA guys, mechanical guys, right? So civil engineering guys, people who are working for a banking for 10, 15 years, housewives, all the people, you know, who was, who was getting only 20,000 rupees per month they're able to get at least now one and a half lakh or more than one lakh salary in India. They're able to get it. So not only from India, a lot of people from abroad. So a lot of you know people from Africa, UK, Dubai, Saudi, many people all over the world. Right. So make sure that you attend tomorrow's demo as well. So tomorrow being Saturday, we have final demo. Same meeting at the same time. We will be able to meet once again tomorrow. Well, you know, for CD part number three demo. So today, let me focus on a uh, few more things. So I wanted to tell you, I was talking about data yesterday. What kind of a data you're going to be storing with? That is what I have told you. Data analytics is also called as a business intelligence that is what i told you in yesterday's class right so what do you mean by data analytics understanding the past understanding the past is called as a data analytics right so or you can say people will be saying reporting the past reporting the past is also called as a data analytics but what is a data science Data science means what? It is also called as a uh, AI. It is also called as a machine learning today. It is also called as a deep learning today. Clear? So what is this? It is predictions. Predict the future. Clear? You are going to be doing a lot of future predictions in this. Data analytics, data science, both of them needs data. Without data, data analytics is not going to work. Data science is not going to work, but where are you going to store the data? So to store the data, I have given lot of you know uh, tools the software industry is going to be using. I told you the first easy tool everybody knows about it when you have small amount of data, MB sub data, KB sub data. Every month I'm getting only thousand inquiries for my company. All the data I'm going to be storing where in Excel. So Excel is the number one tool where you can store the data as well as you will be able to also process your data. For example, daily inquiries data, I will be able to take it and I wanted to do processing means what is the total amount I have received last month? 
how many people have joined for the java course last month i am going to be doing a lot of summing operations summing is a processing i wanted to perform a lot of counting operations i want to know how many people have inquired for java counting what is the total amount received sum what is the average amount i got last year for the java so consider last 12 month data it is a processing technique right when you have a small amount of data we are going to be using excel but when you have a gbs of data that is what i told you gbs of data means every month you are getting lakhs of rows millions of rows what you are going to be doing all the data we going to be keeping in sql that is what i told you sql is also called as a dbms or it is also called as relational database management system so where you're going to be storing this data so how do you process this data for the processing purpose you should be able to okay you wanted to process the data this is where lot of languages are going to be used right that is what also i discussed sql means structured query language database management system it is also known as or rdbms relational database management system so you have a lot of rdbms tools i have given lot of tools oracle and microsoft sql server right do you remember all of them so it is from the microsoft company and when you have a large amount of data the data may be there in uh, in these tools ibm db2 right you have lot many tools are available right so you have uh, mysql right tera data lot of things are available tera data or sybase clear when you have a large amount of data where are you going to be storing as i given you simple example i have a lot of gold where will i store gold bank i have a lot of blood where will i store blood bank i have a lot of data where will i store data bank data bank is called as a database clear so what is the oracle oracle is a data bank what is sql server it is a microsoft data bank what is a db2 it is ibm's data bank what is mysql it is one more company's data bank however you have hdfc bank icic bank deutsche bank city bank you can go to any bank and deposit your cash right like that you can go to oracle you can go to sql server you can go to db2 you can go to tera data sybase anywhere you can go you will be able to store the data so what is sql means it is a data storing technology storing software but once you store the data i want to know what is the total so how do you do that you are going to be processing processing with the language i want to know what is the total amount of the sales in india i want to know what is the uh, you know uh, which is the topest top one brand in the mobile phones in india like that you can use any <coughs> you can use any uh language any language you can use to process your data this is what been discussed in yesterday's class but when you have a more and more data more and more data when you have terabytes of data so terabytes means i'm talking about billions of data you're going to be getting it so that kind of a data so in india we're talking about crores of data right crores of data you will be able to get it so where will you store all this data where will you store all the data so this kind of a data you will be able to store in your data warehousing clear when you have a large amount of cash will you be going to the normal bank or you go to the uh, swiss bank right so when you have a large amount of cash normal banks are not used you are going to be going to the you know swiss bank right so like that data warehouse is going to be handling large amount of data this is also one more tool or you can say software but if you wanted to uh, process the data languages cannot be used because languages will take a lot of coding so that is the reason people have implemented software industry is 
invented a lot of BA tools, business intelligence tools, only for the processing the data. Processing means what I told you, I want to do summing operations. I want to do accounting operation. That is what is called a processing. I strongly recommend to watch my yesterday's video, right? So what is a data warehouse? I have clearly told data warehouse means it is a large data base. So everything clearly I have explained people who missed it. They need to understand clearly that large data where but software wise seems equal. You may have Oracle, you may have SQL server, any software you can have it here. So this is going to be your data warehousing. Clear? So data warehouse is also simply made up of SQL, but only thing is that which is going to be a, in the bigger machine. Clear? So what are the BA tools we have in the market? The first tool is called SAP BA. Then we have SAS BA. Then we have OBA, Oracle BA. Then we have MS BA from Microsoft. Clear? So MS BA. And afterwards, we have a lot of BA tools. Tableau BA. Tableau BA. Or now today, we have a Power BA. Clear? So a lot of tools are available in the BI market. When you have this much of a data, writing is so much of a coding and uh, processing is very, very difficult. Many uh, customers have complained. I don't want to write the code and do some kind of a processing. We wanted to have no coding or low coding tools. That is when in year 2000, year 2000, these things coming started. So Excel it started 1960s onwards, these tools are available, right? So SQL is available after 10 years. So 1970s, it is started coming in. Languages are there, 1940, 50s, 60s. C language is introduced into the market. Data warehouse is got introduced. So into the market in 1990s, okay? So 1990s, it is there. And after that year 2000, you have a lot of BA tools. So this was a story. This was a history that you need to know, right? So, but today the data is not in the terabytes as well. Data is more than this today. So today data is in petabyte, zettabyte, yottabyte of data. So this kind of a data is called as a billions, trillions of data, clear? This kind of a data is called as a big data, right? So this means above data is a small data. From this, from this to this, you can say this is a small data only according to IT industry. This is a small data. Small data, maximum people are going to be using what? So either Excel sheets or SQL means any of these tools or up to terabytes, they are considering a small data only. But after year 2000, everything is got changed in the world. So what are the issues? As we discussed, so after year 2000, lot of internet and hardware become cheaper. Because of that, social media got introduced, large amount of data got prepared. So to store this data, Hadoop is implemented, right? That was a story yesterday I have given. I said I have given. So today, if you wanted to store the data after year 2000, so big data is launched by Google in year 2003. This is a Google's invention, right? But after this, this invention has been taken by Apache company. Apache company has given a software called Hadoop software. People will be calling big data Hadoop software. Clear? So you can, if you wanted to store large amount of data today, so these are the technologies that you need to have it. So yesterday I have given you two small things also. What is this? The data can be anywhere. Data can be in Excel. So data can be in Excel or data can be anywhere, right? It may be Excel data. It may be data may be in, uh, let us say, SQL data, data may be anywhere, right? So data may be in SQL, data may be there in Excel, 
data may be there in data warehousing today data may be there in big data hadoop only these many technologies we have in the it industry even today so 2024 august i'm talking about how it industry is going to be storing the data means only these four forms excel or they may use notepads or the text files or sql or a data warehousing or hadoop so you are going to be getting the data from here getting the data from here getting the data from here so on this data two applications are going to be using the data one is called ai application is going to be using data second one is called bi application is going to use the data what is bi business intelligence called as a data analytics clear why are we storing the data why are we storing the data why are we process why are we keeping the data because on the data two applications are using this data so data analytics this is your power bi and everything is going to be working here and you're going to be understanding the past so one more is called ai ai is going to be using machine learning techniques and deep learning techniques on this data and ai is going to be doing what is predictions clear so both applications needs the data but who's going to be giving the data so we are not work work talk, talk, talking about small amount of data so we are talking about large amount of data so who's going to be providing the data to the ai and the ba ba means business intelligence it is also called as a data analytics so who's going to be supplying the data there is a guy there is an engineer called data engineer clear so data engineering means what getting the data storing the data cleaning the data you may store the data here you may store the data here you may store the data here so who's going to be doing this activity data engineering team clear without a data engineering team ai is not going to be working even data analytics power bi is not going to be working right so you need to understand getting the data collecting the data cleaning the data storing the data is very very big activity so data engineering guys are going to be doing all of them so data engineering people have to know sql very well data warehousing very well and hadoop big data you need to know very well so today hadoop is gone and today we have apache spark is introduced into the market apache spark is got introduced or this is also gone today data bricks is you know recently launched in not recently 2013 10 years back so hadoop is having some issues because of that apache spark is going to released after that we have data bricks also released so if you wanted to get into data analytics you need to know sql you have to know data warehousing you need to learn power bi clear so you can become a data analyst if you wanted to become a data engineering you need to know sql you have to know data warehousing you have to know apache spark and data bricks and plus you need to know one thing called python also all right so python we are going to be using inside your hadoop or we are going to be using inside your apache spark if you want to become a data engineering so you need to know what is that you need to learn sql you need to know data warehousing you need to know apache spark hadoop and python you need to know and it is a little bit coding little bit coding so if you want to become a data analyst means sql data warehousing and power bi hadoop we are not going to be learning so we are not going to be handling this much of a data sql data warehousing and power bi that is what you need to know if you wanted to get into ai you need to you need to know python you need to know python you need to know sql sql is important then you need to know aa all the uh, aa tools you need to know at least some understanding of data warehousing concept you have to know and you need to know compulsorily ai and in you know, a ml a and ml means machine learning models or deep learning models the stats you have to know maths you have to know so this is very very complex don't get into ai you can go for data engineering and you can go in for data analytics i don't recommend it to go into ai ai will take a minimum 18 months to complete and bi will take only three months to complete even data engineering will take only three months to complete not more than that clear 
but data engineering will have more coding than the data analytics or the you know data science applications clear so data science means what are we going to be learning here sql is a must then power bi is a must then data modeling i will talk about this later so this you are going to be learning and dax queries are going to be learning and the data warehousing are going to be learning so this is a three months course any bcom guys mba guys housewives can easily learn this course they can get into data analytics very very easily what is the data science so you have to know sql you have to know data warehousing you have to know python here you have to know some kind of a machine learning deep learning and plus you have to learn maths and you need, you need to learn stats and it is going to be your 18 months course so you don't look at the youtube saying that everybody is saying you know artificial intelligence is going to be replacing everything in the world i don't have anything else i wanted to do only artificial intelligence you go mad you will die so if you join this course you unnecessarily my friend is taken ai he told me you know him you know he told me that lot of opportunities i believe my friend then if you take your friend words you will be losing lot of opportunities taking or understanding completely uh, ai is very very difficult right i am not able to go to lot uh, not, not even 30 minutes gym i am doing but i wanted to go for you know 10000 kilometers jogging or trekking can i do that so daily at least 30 40 minutes of gym at least you know some brisk walking i should be able to do so that i can plan for a trekking but you people do not know anything directly somebody told then directly you are you know pointing to ai means it will be waste of time energy everything you get into this without coding within 3 months you identify the proper mentor first and get into this kind of a courses get the job with minimum 15 20 lakhs package you can get it within 3 years of experience when you put it you, you can convert entire experience you have 10 years of uh, banking knowledge you can tell them that sir past six years i was completely into banking sales and execution and after that i have moved to uh, excel and i was taking up uh, uh, i was creating a lot of excel report in icic bank or Deutsche bank and currently i'm working with the sql i got the training in my icic bank i am now currently creating a lot of reports for my uh, superiors so, so last three years i'm completely with the sql and power bi and before that i was having seven years of banking domain knowledge completely non it so current salary packages let us say six to seven lakhs i'm planning to have 15 lakhs salary so double triple salaries are companies are going to be giving you when you say minimum three four years of power bi knowledge when you have it anybody can get into this we're going to be teaching you from very very basic level to advanced level of all these things from uh, you know from monday onwards am i clear so don't get into this so data analytics people data science people needs a data who's going to be supplying the data that is called a data engineering clear so data engineering people compulsorily they need to know in depth of sql they should know python as well because coding is going to be implemented data warehousing is needed and hadoop right hadoop is needed because hadoop as i discussed hadoop is implemented by apache it is released in the year 2005 but it is very very slow then apache company has released one more software so uh, apache spark to handle large amount of data it got released in 20 uh, zero nine in the it industry so on top of that it has become stable uh, in the year uh, 2010 stabilized and on top of that so there is one more software got released so today the software name is called data bricks clear so data bricks is released in 2012 if you want to deal with a large amount of data today people are going to be using a data bricks or apache spark hadoop is gone so apache spark or data bricks you can use it so 2012 it is invented so hadoop is can handle large amount of data as i told you yesterday hadoop was slow hadoop was slow and hadoop people have to learn a language called java 
that is the reason many companies said no because java is very very difficult then apache spark told it is very very faster because i'll be storing my data into the ram it is going to be storing all the data into the hard disk disk when you store anything it will be slow right so it is very very fast it is, can store large amount of data in the ram and here they have implemented a new language called scala scala is very very dead language now every everybody is using today python why python becomes so popular because python is a easy language in the world that is the reason python is there since 1990s 1980s it is there but why suddenly python has become you know very very popular because python is easy c c++ java dot net complex that is the reason all the people today they don't want to go they want to understand the complex language java if you say they'll say no 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 java is complex give me a simple language so apache spark implemented scala and python also you can use and data bricks also you can use scala python everything sql is mandatory for data data means sql you can use a python language you can use a scala language or you can use any language that you wanted to use it all of them are easy and these are very very faster when you compare with the hadoop so today if you want to store the data so this is where we have the data so data engineering people should know hadoop or apache spark is compulsory so that they need to know it so this is the complete story i have given yesterday also let me give you some understanding of what is the ba let me give you what is the ba as i told you if you wanted to process the data for example i have two numbers 10 and 20 is there i wanted to know what is the total so totaling is a processing right so total is 30 i wanted to know how many numbers are there two numbers i wanted to know what is the minimum what is the maximum i wanted to find out that is what is called a processing or a computing processing or it is all called as a computing clear so that is what you have to know you will be able to work with this but only thing is that uh, we are going to be talking about power ba and everything so we need to know all this ba tools ba tools are less coding earlier we were able to perform all the data analytics with the help of a language but today ba tools are there to perform data analytics so these are the ba tools got released in the year 2000 i wanted to give you some history about the ba tools and we can continue further right so these tools got released in the year 2000 and only one tool right very very complex to understand and implement so only you can create a visualization these tools are called reporting tools when you go to excel if you wanted to create any visualization creating a visualization in excel is very very easy right for example i have uh, january sales let us say 10 billion dollars i have uh, february sales let us say 20 billion dollars i have some data i wanted to take this data and go to insert and i can create any kind of a chart say line chart column chart any chart i will be able to create i will be able to just get this data i will be able to create this chart where is location that it is asking i have installed new excel yesterday so you can create i wanted to have this where is that shallow so we will see the charts where is that Array. yesterday i was able to show you because it was older version of in excel now excel is also you know giving a problem to me okay that's fine so don't worry about it we can create a lot of charts using excel also but the problem with excel is very small amount of data you can deal when you have a large amount of data excel is going to be failing you cannot create very very bigger uh, you know co what do you say uh, you know co charts and everything you will not be able to create them so that is a problem with your excel clear it is data it is going to be given somewhere uh, 
actual we'll we'll look into this later so a lot of visualization you can create with this reporting tools but only thing is that these are costly so this was a story uh, year 2000 but a later later what is happened in 2005 microsoft released microsoft released a software called msba microsoft ba microsoft business intelligence so these are the three tools not a single tool these are three tools not single tool in this they have given ssis is one tool ssas is a third tool ssrs is one more tool this is what is called etl tool this is what is called analysis tool okay and this is what is called a reporting tool three tools have been released by the microsoft company so <clears throat> these are very very cheaper when you compare with this tool sap ba sas ba was costly was costly etl tool here do, is, is, there is no etl tool only reporting tool is there there is no analysis tool only reporting tool means you can create a visualizations you will not be able to do anything else here am i clear so microsoft told me i will give you the software for free and it is a big brand because of this msba became so popular people stopped using sap ba sas ba oracle ba oba means oracle ba 2005 onwards till today msba is rocking clear in tomorrow's class we will understand what is atl what is analysis what is reporting and everything so don't miss the class in tomorrow's uh, demo also tomorrow we are going to be finalizing it so but suddenly after msba what is happened tableau ba tableau is one more company tableau ba from the sales force company this software is released i think year 2010 they said if you wanted to create a report i'm going to be giving you self service ba that means no technical knowledge is required clear no technical knowledge is required any non technical people any mba guys any mba guys who are doing the business so mba guys are going to be managers in the company they will be handling the business right so these people can create a beautiful reports with the help of my software so no need of having a technical knowledge so it is a self service bi what is the meaning you need not know cooking still you should be able to prepare maggi noodles right so you're not an expert in the cooking but maggi noodles anybody can prepare it is self service you know self service uh, cooked food right anybody can prepare the maggi noodles easily so tableau bi is completely given this kind of a branding no technical knowledge is required here only technical team can prepare either a etl developer or a ba developer or reporting developer a technical guy the software engineer can do the report processing and everything tableau bi given a big threat to the microsoft so people are using ssrs they stopped using it so immediately to give a competition to tableau bi microsoft launched immediately within five years of the time so they have launched power bi in 2015 clear so it is a completely same tool same tool it is a self-service bi tool clear so any mba guys bcom guys any ba guys anybody can learn or or even a 10th class 10th standard guys also can practice this anybody i will show you one demo on monday you will be thrilled to understand power bi even 10th standard 10 times failure guy also can work with the power bi power bi is a dead easy very easy to understand nothing you should know to work with the power bi so people will ask me sir what is the prerequisite to understand power bi i will say if you know 2 plus 2 equals to 4 you're eligible that's it nothing if you know 2 plus 2 equals to 4, you're eligible for the Power BI. But if you learn only Power BI, you don't get a job. That is the reason we are also learning SQL data warehousing 
So let me show you in the job portals, what are they asking? You need to know, right? So let me go to naukari.com or monastery.com in India. So I wanted to see what are the skills you need to have for the Power BI developer. You need to know, right? Because many people will say, sir, my friend told me to learn only Power BI or Power BI developer or analyst. So I'm learning only Power BI. So is it enough? Answer is no. Let me click on the search jobs. How many jobs are available? I'll show you now. Totally today, 31,000 jobs are available only in India. People are saying, Sir, recession is going on. I don't have any jobs. Sir, this is very tricky. It is not the problem of recession. People are not agreeing that they don't have the job. They don't have the knowledge. Instead of you saying no job, I am telling you, you don't have the knowledge. How are people are able to crack the interviews? Five, five offer letters, three, three offer letters. My BPO guy, uh, Kaushik, yesterday, I have recorded one video. So that guy told me, sir, I got five offer letters. How is he able to get it? So how is he able to get it? So this is the data it is going to be giving. One 20 pages only this much of a data. Remaining pages, you had seen many, many uh, jobs are available in India. So you see, it is one day, 11 days back. What are they asking? They're asking only Power BI. They're asking SAP. They're asking SSAS, SQL Server, SSRS. What are they asking? They're asking a lot of things, right? So you see, they are not only asking Power BI, they're asking BA, Power BI, Data Warehousing, DBMS, SQL, SSAS, right? So this is five to 10 years and 30 days ago, it is got posted like that. 30 days ago, three days ago, you will be able to get this jobs very, very clearly. What are the jobs you want to know? You just simply go and look for it. Power BI, when you say Power BI, so you will be able to get the jobs, but what are the skills that is important guys that you need to practice here. So you will be able to understand what are the jobs and what are they asking SQL Server, AS, RS and you know Microsoft Power BI, SQL Server, Analysis Services, Python. Some companies are asking, but I'm strongly recommending not to learn Python now. It will become very, very heavy. It will become very, very heavy. Power BI, MS BI, they're asking you, have you seen it? Azure Data Factory, even cloud is also there asking, but more experience. So you can just ignore it, right? So like the two days ago, dashboards, DAX, SQL, healthcare domain. So like that, you should be able to get database design. SSIS, they're asking ETL, right? DAX, they're asking. DAX is part of Power BI. So when you see this, it is going to be one day ago, five to eight years of experience. Now you can see four to seven years of experience like that. Two to five years of experience, they're asking. So all this thing, only Power BI, if you learn, it is not sufficient. They're asking SSRs, SSAs, Power BI, ETL, SSIs, whatever I'm showing, they are asking. Clear? They're asking SSIs, SSAs, they're asking SSRs also sometimes. So SSRs and Power BI are similar. If you learn Power BI, you will know this. Clear? So instead of SSRs, what you do, you will be able to learn Power BI. So you have to learn SSIS, you have to learn SSAS, you have to learn Power BI, you have to learn a data warehousing concept, you have to learn SQL Server software also. So all of them you have to learn so that you will be able to easily get into data analytics. Now, I want to give you, I want to give you one more thing. Power BI is more than your Tableau BI, it has gone up. When you go to Google Trends, when you go to Google Trends and see what is the Google Trends is one more soft, you know, one more website you can see where you will be able to understand how the we can go to Google Trends and you can explore. You want to analyze Power BI. Power Microsoft Power BI would like to compare with the Tableau, right? So Tableau BI software, you can see the data. So Microsoft Power BI is the blue line somewhere there. Tableau BI is somewhere down. Have you seen this? This is a blue when this is a red, right? So Tableau BI is gone down today and Power BI is completely gone up today. That is the reason 
past 12 months data i'm talking about in india worldwide also you can explore so but tableau ba is fine but it is not a trending so microsoft uh, power bi tableau ba from the salesforce google is also have one more tool called looker this is also one more software this is a google lookers okay looker you have so when you compare with the looker looker is somewhere here it's google a reporting tool called looker clear so you will be able to see a lot of visualizations when you go for example i want to understand infosys share price i wanted to know when i click on this i am able to get to one you know visualization here this visualization is a five days sales one month sales one year sales five years sales who's created this this has been created by a looker software inside the google it is a bing it is giving you but when you go to google google is going to be giving you looker when you go to google.com and within the google you will be able to get let me go to google so within to go to google you can say let us say wipro share price i wanted to have it so wipro share price so this is the google map you can see so this map is created by which google company so which software they have used looker clear so looker is also one more reporting tool you can analyze five days one month six months ytd means january 1st to till date so you can analyze the company whether it is doing good or not when you see last one year how is the sales or how is the market it is in a green trend so it is given you 29% more profit if you invest in the january 1st or last you know year second 402 rupees it has become 521 rupees last five years this amount became almost 100% if you invest 263 rupees five years back now it has become 521 rupees you can see 97% profit you are able to get it in a pro company like that you can analyze very very easily but who given this reporting and everything by the looker right so tableau ba power ba became so popular today but power ba is launched in 2015 almost 9 years old tool it is but if you learn only power ba that is not sufficient the power bi you have to know sql server also so what is sql server which is a database in technology it can store the data i want to give you the history of sql server is a microsoft software to store large amount of data right so the first version i am going to be giving here so sql server the first software the first version is called 1.0 released in 1989 it is a purely sql software or database management software or rdbms software what is the meaning meaning is that it can store the data it can retrieve the data i told you sql means go downs sql means a tanks or store rooms in the store room what you do you put the items you get the item in the go down what you do you put the rice bags get the rice bags in the blood bank what you do you put the bed get the blood right so store the data and access the data retrieve the data that is the purpose of rdbms rdbms is a tank or a drum or a reservoir or you can say whatever you think of whatever you think of go down store room whatever you think of that is what is sql clear so the next version is 5.0 next version is 7.0 next year 2000 they have launched sql server 2000 till this it is completely uh, rdbms software now today sql server the next software is launched in in the year 2005 so the launching date 2005 it is launched So it is not only SQL RDBMS software. In this, Microsoft is added one more software that is what is called MS BA. Clear? SSIS is added here only. SSAS and even SSRS is added here. So when you install 2005 version, you will be able to get Microsoft BA. So SSIS and AS and RS. all of them got launched so let us understand what is this ssis means okay so tomorrow 
we'll see the complete difference. So let me have SSIS. SSIS means it is SQL Server Integration, right? Services. This is what is called ETL tool. What is the ETL tool? I will be able to talk about tomorrow. Extracting the data, transforming the data, and load the data. So this is very, very important thing that you need to know. So what are the two things I'm going to be doing? Extracting the data from somewhere. Transforming means cleaning the data. You clean the data and you're going to be loading the data. This is the tool everybody is going to be using. Now SSAS means what it is. SQL Server, same thing you can copy paste it. So it is a SQL Server or SQL Server. You can say SQL Server or SQL Server. Analysis services which can analyze your data. What is analysis? We will discuss data. So here we are going to be creating a lot of cubes and we are going to be analyzing. We are going to be analyzing the data here. What is analysis? We will discuss in the later classes. The last one is called reporting software. SS SQL Server a reporting software. You can create lot of visualizations. Clear? Lot of charts and graphs you're going to be preparing it here. So these are the three tools that we have it. So a lot of versions got released 2008, the next version, then 2012, then 2014, then 2016, then 2017, then 2019. Now the current version is 2022 of SQL Server or SQL Server, right? I will show you how to install either 2019 or 2022 on Monday's class. So tomorrow we have the final demo. In tomorrow's class, I will be able to talk about what is SSIS, what is SSAS, what is SSRS, and what is a data warehousing. Everything I will be able to talk about in tomorrow's class. So tomorrow you don't miss the class. You will understand the final complete structure. What is ETL and everything. So this is the SQL Server history that you need to know. Without SQL knowledge, you cannot learn Power BI. You can learn Power BI, but you will not be able to get the job. So that is the reason yesterday I told you, if you wanted to get into data analytics, this guy from BCom background, yesterday I told you, right? He got five offer letters. He was getting 18,000 rupees per month. I have recorded his success story, uploaded in my YouTube channel. You can go to youtube.com and look for Bhaskar Jogi channel, subscribe it. You will be able to get a lot of success stories like this. 18,000 rupees people. Now his current salary pack is 19.2 lakh salary. He got it. Five offer letters, he got it. Not only this, lot of other. One more guy got 20, 35 lakh salary package. One more girl got 12 lakhs in 13.2 lakhs salary package as a data engineering. So this guy, data analyst. So we are giving both trainings, right? So every month we have much more people who are getting a lot of job opportunities. So I have told you in yesterday's class. So what is that you need to practice if you wanted to become a data analyst? SQL Server, you need to know in depth. And the Power BI, you need to know in depth. SSIS, we're going to be learning in the October month. Data warehousing, you need to know. Even SSAS also, you need to know. So these are the two, two tools I'm going to be focusing on now, right? So now later, I'm going to be focusing on October month, SSIS. When everything I will be able to focus on in the month of October. So SSIS is a one month you will be able to learn 20, 25 days course that is, right? So that is a point. So these are the things we are going to be learning. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me now. So guys, so these are the things that we're going to be learning it. So apart from that, you don't have anything else. If you want to become a data analytics, so these are the courses we are going to be giving. If you learn only Power BI, you cannot get a job. Be, be clear with that. I had shown you the naukri.com also, right? So you, if you learn only Power BI, and a small in five days of SQL, people will tell me, sir, I have learned Power BI for 20 days. 
SQL five days. I have seen Udemy videos. Now I got a job, but I am not able to do the job. I am leaving my job. Right? These are the various names for the data analytics, data analysis, Power BI developer, BA developer, data analyst, business analyst, report developer. Lot of names. End of the day, we are going to be giving you lot of live classes and lot of videos. I am going to be sharing. In the first class, I spoken about what are the videos, how to practice. And first one we are going to be talking about in the first two months. I'm going to be targeting only with the SQL and Power BI, right? And later in the next month, I'm going to be target talking about the next things. So, so this one you forget about it. We're going to be talking about SSIS and SSAS and these things you can learn later. So in this month only you will be able to practice SQL and Power BI. Then you will be practicing SSIS and SSIS data warehousing late. So what is the duration I have given you? So all of them you are going to be having in this month. So August and September only these two tools, nothing else. Clear? So what is data engineering means? What is data engineering means? It is these tools are going to be learning SQL, Python, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Azure Synapses, and Data Warehouse, Azure Spark. Data Bricks means I told you, right? Data Bricks means Spark and Hadoop only. So this is the curriculum that you're going to be having in the data engineering. I don't recommend data engineering uh, to learn, but if you're uh, wanted to go into coding side, you can learn data engineering. Uh, three months course it is also, but I don't recommend directly jump into this kind of a courses. I strongly recommend to this. Okay, so that is a point. Now there is a question asked by Shivakumar, sir. I heard that already we have inbuilt ETL in Power BI. What is the use of learning SSIS or SSAS? Help me on this. Okay, very good question. And Sanjit is asking SSRS and Power BI same kind of a reporting tool. Yes. Both of them are same, but a lot of differences. SSRS more technical work you need to create. So simple you know, reports you cannot create. It's very complex to implement SSRS. But Power BI is dead easy. Power BI anybody can use it. So okay, so Power BI is dead easy. Uh, but uh, if you ask me, SSRS is a bit complex. What is the use of learning SSIS? Because Power BI has a reporting tool. Because Power BI can handle small amount of data. So that I, you're going to be learning on Monday or Tuesday. Power BI has some data limitations. Clear? So data limitation that it has. It will be able to perform ETL operations internally. But only thing is that it has data limitations. That is the reason. We cannot use data uh, ETL, the existing ETL within the Power BI that cannot be implemented. So that is the reason I'm going to be using SSIS and lot of you know ADF Azure Data Factory. These tools people are using it because it is limited with a small amount of data. So that you will be able to know within the next week. You will have clear cut understanding what is the limitation of SSA, you know, Power BI ETL. See, if there is a limitation, then only you will be able to implement everything, right? If I can teach everything, why is that I can recruit one more faculty? Either I don't have a time, I don't have a knowledge, so that I can recruit a Java faculty. If I don't know, I will recruit AA faculty. If I know everything and if I have a time, I'll be the person, I'll be doing everything. So Power BI, if it is implementing large amount of data means, it is uh, only Power BI would have used it, but the Power BI has the limitations of the data. That is the reason we are going to be using one more ETL tool in the companies. So that is the point. Okay. Now Rukmini is asking. A lot of companies are asking SSRS, so we can mention that we have knowledge on Power BI. Power BI people can implement SSRS. Both of them are almost similar. 60 to 70 percent are similar. You need not worry about it. SSRS Power BI can go hand in hand. What are Tabular DAX and Q functions? All of them I'm going to be discussing in the detailed classes. So what is a Q? What is a DAX? All of them are going to be implemented in the 
uh, next classes. DAX is going to be used to understand the, to perform a lot of calculations as part of Power BI. DAX is completely, DAX is a completely uh, to implement mathematical expressions and it is uh, as part of your ana data analysis, uh, you know, uh, programming like uh, Power BI or you can use the DAX in your SSAS. DAX is pretty much easy. We are going to be having a 10 days or 15 days on the DAX classes. We are going to be learning in depth of DAX and everything. Okay. So we will also see uh, SSAS tabular model and everything. So don't worry about it. Okay. Sure. Calculated column, everything we are going to be learning, right? So whatever you're asking, Sanjit, everything is implemented. No worry at all. Real time project, lot of things I'm going to be giving. So don't worry at all. Clear? So we will be learning all of them DAX complex queries you, you will be able to write with your in your you know with your hands that is what we're, we're going to be doing calculated columns this one that one you ask something it will be there right so ak is asking sir what is the good tool in sql server and mysql mysql is a free software free it is right so any free software what is the issue free meals means what is the issue here Somebody gives you free meals daily. Do you get complex things there? You, you, you wanted to have a free biryani or free meals means you don't get everything. So MySQL is very, very basic of SQL, not very complex. Complex things means you need to learn Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, you know, Teradata, Sybase. Complex things you will not be able to learn in MySQL. If somebody is learning MySQL means very, very basic stuff you, you are going to be learning in MySQL because it's a free software small data it can analyze so these are paid softwares so complex things you will be able to implement much more bigger companies enterprise level companies are going to be using oracle sql server and smaller companies are going to be using mysql so mysql learning means you're not going to be learning in depth of sql knowledge i don't recommend it to learn mysql but if you have learned elsewhere already that is fine but you need to learn either Oracle or SQL Server. Power BI belong to Microsoft. So SQL Server I'm recommending. So I don't recommend MySQL to learn. Am I clear? Okay. That is the point. So I will give you resume preparation. One project I'm going to be including, right? So everything I'm going to be including, you should not be worried at all. Clear? So that is the uh, lot of people got very, very good job packages. Bharati, she got a data engineering role with 13.5 and Mahesh got two of us, two years, seven lakhs package. He got it. All these people are lost to one or two months, guys, right? Lakshmi got two offers from Tirupati, uh, data analyst. Uh, she was working, working for a BPO industry, 13,000 rupees per month to 15.5 lakh salary package. And Prem Sai got a fresher job, three years of experience, uh, almost is fresher kind of a, you know, co uh, job role is currently dealing, dealing with seven lakhs package. He got it last two months back. He got the job and Akshay from Pune, this guy, 36 years old guy, he got actually within three years of experience, he put it last six months, he got five to six rounds of interviews and 12 lakhs is the minimum package. And now current package is 26.5 lakhs package. He got it as a data analyst. Last September, he came to me saying that, sir, I was running a bakery and I'm getting only 20,000 rupees per month. I don't know what to do. In the month of November, the first offer letter, he got it 12.5 lakhs. Within a December month, he got two more offer letters, 16 lakhs and 19, 21 lakhs. And April month, he got one more offer letter, 26.5 lakhs offer letter and a 2 lakhs joining bonus and blah, 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 put together 30 lakhs, he got it. So earlier he was getting only 20,000 rupees per month in his own bakery for 10, 15 years. And within three to six months of time, he reached 30 lakhs of salary package. Data analyst, only my course has done it, is from Pune. I have recorded his success story. It is available in my YouTube channel. Just watch. So a lot of people, Pavani from civil engineering background, 5.5 years of experience. 5 lakhs to 14 lakhs. She was working for Amazon call center for 12 years. Clear? So Anusha, she was working as a school teacher in a small school, getting only 
14 uh, K per month and she got 12 lakhs of salary packers all the success stories recorded and I have kept it so Anusha not Ausha it is the name is uh, is Anusha so you can just refer and tomorrow we will be able to give you whatever you need I can give you a lot of people lot of thousands of people who got it so it is a sales guy 12.5 lakh salary package you got Swavani and the teacher to IT 11 lakhs salary package Satish two years a faculty in the college 10.5 lakh salary package so all these things are completely this one okay so only thing is that guys you need to have proper knowledge so if you have any questions you will be able to ask me now freshers yes you can get a minimum four to five lakh salary package that you will be able to get it as a fresher and experience means eight to 15 lakhs of salary package minimum two years to five years when you apply you can get 10 8 or 15 lakhs of salary package you can expect in india how many classes we have for sql server sql server it will be 45 days video classes i'm going to be giving we don't have any live classes that is what i told you right i'm not teaching sql now so daily uh, you will be able to get the videos that you need to practice them so daily one sql video you need to practice them and ask me the questions the next day power ba class or you can also ask me in the same day i have given my number right you can call me on that number ask me that this is my doubt so how do i you know uh, connect with you so this is my number so anytime you should be able to connect with me for your questions and everything you can just ping me in my whatsapp number so we can have one-to-one -one doubts clarifications as well so that is not a problem but i don't have the live classes one more faculty is teaching sql live his name is arun if you wanted to join his classes you can join and call my office team they will be able to tell you otherwise you can just you know take my videos you will be able to practice attend one day daily live power ba class and one sequel video you must watch in the evening on the same day from monday onwards we'll start both of them one sequel video you will be able to get it you watch that video write the notes practice it and live class will be there in the morning chalo guys any other questions let me